coffee is fantastic. Um, I'd probably give it like a solid 8 out of 10. I feel like that's a real fair judgment. I would definitely drink it again. Yeah. As far as like consistency goes, Sav Coffee Roasters is like always, always hits the mark for me. Um, Cause I get the same thing. Like I always do um, a mocha with like a shot of raspberry or like some fruit and cause it's amazing. And um, I don't know. I just like everything about Savannah Coffee Roasters. about it I'm not mad about it the milk is a little overpowering despite the darker flavor um, and I think their mocha syrup is a little more bittersweet than I tend to go for because I love a cup of coffee where it's like I order what I order and I don't have to mix a bunch of things in at the little like little like caddy at the end because I'm like if you make me a good drink like I want to I want to drink what you gave me I don't really want to change it and make it my own um, but I feel like with this, I'm always a little tempted to like, I don't know if I want to put Splenda in it or somehow take sugar out. Like, I'm not sure what I want, but I wish it was like kind of giving me a little more. I feel like it's a little like not as full bodied as I'd like. Um, I'd probably give this like a, I'd probably go 7 out of 10 again. Franklin's is so sweet. And I think, I don't think it's a bad thing because I'm the type of person who like put cream and sugar I'm the type of person who will have coffee with their cream and sugar, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. oh, like it's more, like I, it has to be super sweet and super diluted. is fine like when I've incorporated it like this totally good but it came very distinctly layered with like pure white milk pure brown chocolate or brown chocolate no brown coffee um which like is pretty to look at like it was the most beautiful drink of our, the ones we got yeah. but I don't really enjoy layered coffee it doesn't really have like that wet cardboard after aftertaste mm -hmm. which I usually get with like coffee yeah I think this is a great side dish to their magnificent waffles that I love and like one of my best college, me college memories to date has been basking and then napping in the sun in Forsyth Park with my friend after we ate their waffles after like a day of work. It was great. Fantastic. Um, I think they're really awesome. I would absolutely, if I went and got a waffle I would absolutely get another cup of coffee. I don't think I would go out of my way because it's also a little inconvenient to get to. There's not super awesome parking. This was more expensive than the sugar waffle. Whoa, wait, wait. What? <laughs> Salty, but not in a bad way. Oh. Oh, I don't love it? Interesting. <laughs> it's got the kind of like a... <laughs> it's got kind of like a, a salty... I think especially coming after like we just drink Spanish coffee roasters, but this one's kind of like it's got like this salty, like aftertaste, you know. So I think it's really fun how like all of these different places have a really specific vision for what they are. There's no like generic coffee in Savannah. 